There are a range of tools in Purple Mash to help your children learn to code. If I click on Tools and scroll down, I'll see there's a section called Coding. In here there are four coding programmes. You've got To Go for younger children, Logo as progression from that, and To Code that we're going to talk about a lot in this video. Before I go into To Code though, To Go is great for pulling in some directions and getting the children to move something like a bee around the screen. In To Go you choose a background and then in this one you've got a bee but you can change that if you'd like to. On the right you've got arrow keys and you can use these to move in this case the turtle around. I'm going to put the turtle back to the beginning. When you open To Go there's various challenges your children could complete. We're now in Logo. In Logo the children use the commands on the right to move the turtle in the middle. So FD5 would move it forward 5, RT90 would turn it 90 degrees to the right. At the top here there's a series of backgrounds and you can turn a grid on if you wish. You can also change the turtle appearance by clicking on the arrow at the top here. To the top right there's a series of videos that will support your child using Logo. If your children are getting particularly into it, ask them to watch the repeat and procedures videos. It is also well worth getting the children to watch the Time Crimes of Loganator introductory video and having a go at some of the Time Crimes of Loganator. These are suitable for children in about year three and up. This is Two Code. In Two Code you've got some video tutorials to get started. These are well worth a watch. Underneath the tutorials you've got three different stages. You've got Chimp, Gibbon and Gorilla. The bigger the monkey, the more complex the coding gets. In each stage you've got a series of apps that allow to your children to learn key concepts and principles of coding. If I load this one for example, Guard the Castle, you'll see there's building block stages, a debug stage and an open-ended challenge. If you click on a stage, the children will be given instructions via a video. If they get stuck a bit later, they could come back to here and unlock a hint. When I click on OK, if I wanted to get back to the hint, I could click on the instruction again. The children land in a code screen. To the top right they can use the design button to toggle between the design and code screens. At the top there's a play button and this is where they can play and watch their code. These are code pieces on the left, so in this challenge to make the knight move to the right, I would drag the code piece across and then answer the question. Knight right play this is pop the code in to make the knight move to the right in the next challenge we're asked to make the knight change direction when it reaches the pillar we can now pop in the collision code piece when knight collides with the right pillar we're going to make the knight go left click on play and now the knight will go left when he reaches the right pillar at the end of each stage there's free code so here's free code chimp and if I scroll down, I'll see Free Code Gibbon and then Free Code Gorilla. In these applications, the children can see all the code pieces they've come across to up to this point in Gibbon. And in the design, they've got the freedom to double click on the monitor at the bottom here and then pop in their own background. This could be a file they choose, a picture they've taken, or one of our pre made ones. They can drag objects from the left onto their background and double click on them to change them. Once they've added objects, those objects will be visible in the code and they can begin to program. To the top right there's a videos button and these videos will talk through free code in more detail. Enjoy using the coding programs in Purple Mash with your children.